though it happened long ago. I remember how the fall came early to our tucked away and hidden town of Sleepy Rock. And I remember how I met Jake Spear, the man I came to love. Jesus, who would have guessed what would happen that fall? Everything seemed so good. In the broad daylight, in the middle of the night, you are turned out of sight, and I can't see your eyes, I can't see your eyes, I want to see your eyes, I can see my favorite man, but I know I don't see much of the blue of the stand, I can't see your eyes, I can't see your eyes. Got a smoke? Do ya? Last one? Only one. And I ain't gonna bum another. Hey, you're not going in there. Do you wanna get killed? Man, put you away or something. What's so bad about me getting killed? Obviously nothing. Everybody else wants you dead. <sighs> Wait! I didn't mean that! You didn't kill them! You love them. It was an accident. It was an accident. You love the words and fine. Talk to sweet and kind. But there's something on your mind. I can't see your eyes. I can't see your eyes. I want to see your eyes. saw the black thing by the spear passage. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to live out there. Why? I'm not gonna let the black thing get me. <laughs> Speaking of the spear pasture. The Slimmy Rock Ramblers! He's got nerve. What in the hell is he doing here? Couldn't kill him sober. Had to get drunk. Please. Need a drink? Why didn't he accept a room or a meal from me? He won't even let me invite him in. That's how he stops himself from killing. What? I was just thinking, you should join Josh and I for supper no. tomorrow, Jay. Dancing on his parents' grave. Come on. Don't start, Dick. Burn his own house down. You, uh, come here to watch the dance? I'm sorry. No. Yeah. I just had to get out. See me alive up there. Hey, don't worry about it. Listen, everybody here knows it was an accident. Oh, what? Like you'd do something like that? What, for your parents' land? You know what I was thinking over there? What? That there must be angels because they're sure as hell is shit like you. That spear kid came in here swinging. Ever since the accident. That wasn't no accident. It was a blind side, man. Where'd she go? Keep playing! What happened? Just get away from me. You've got dirt Don't on... Don't touch me. Don't help me. Damn it! 
it. Don't you have friends in there? Maybe I don't. But it looks like I don't got friends out here either. So what the fuck does it matter? Thought you said you didn't have any cigarettes. Well, you want this one? You want the first one. Well, how's I supposed to know that? Everybody else wants something. You live up there all the time all by yourself. What do you expect them to think? They just, they don't understand. Why are you up there? It's just, you're so far away. Something might happen. You gotta get a place in town. Yeah, maybe I should move closer. I could use a little extra love. Yeah, well, what about the black thing? Ever since the accident, people have been seeing it around your place. There ain't no black thing. Certainly no black thing where I live. Yeah, well, a lot of people just have this. Shoot. Jake, I gotta get home. Don't go up by yourself. It's too dangerous up there. Okay. Okay. You said on medical supplies. We're stuck here. If not, we'll cross the gorge. Oh, I don't know. Mud's real bad. You mean we're stuck out here? Well, farmers don't have enough food for a few days. I don't know what then, huh? <laughs> there you go. Is there a problem? Uh, no, not unless there's some type of emergency.
damn spider. This stuff. It's fungus. It grows on dead things. Ew! Hey, you made it. Oh, Jim. Scratch. I don't know. Bring him here. He's only staying for dinner. Be Sam, nice. Go? I can't talk now. Things are moving well. Hi. Can't even tell me if you saw him. Where will we found? Get the fat place for the thing out of here. Who are me? Mom, can we keep him, cat? Please, can we keep him, please? Please, please. No, not in here. She was all alone. You have to leave before dinner. Come on, it's important. Said no. Grandma! What is going on? Quick, it's Caddy. He was all alone. I really want to keep him. Just please oh, say yes. Oh, please! Okay. Yeah! Name him. Better wait. I want to hold I'm her. I'm going to hold her way here. I'm the one that found her. You cannot control your children. You've got the cat. And you certainly yeah. can't control yeah. yourself. I have an idea. Why does she crazy? say that? Crazy. I'm the one that found her. He was talking. I must be a mess, and this outfit is awful. Don't worry about the outfit. My eyes are erect. Just look at these. Are you looking at these? I can't believe this mess. My hair isn't anything like Barbara's in Nashville. Why didn't you just say something? Don't she would have Don't you smile. These are more important than she is anyway. I can't believe she says they're loud. They're perfect. They're nice, but you gotta say something. It's for How the can better. you say that? You didn't even notice these shoes. They're from Marcus's. I don't care what you say. I think the outfit's clothes are pretty. pretty. It just makes you act ugly. Why did I say that? It's okay, Jay. Where are you going? Just make something up for me, please. Well, we have a place set for you. I can't get near anyone without ruining everything. I gotta cut my mind out. I just don't know what happened. Oh, Jake. About your striking dick. I'm sure you just didn't understand him. I can't tell the time of day without setting someone off. If you I can, hate my mind. You know, it's love that makes men important and sets us apart. Now, him. if you can still I love Dick, do you believe my God mind said out. that? I wasn't listening. Let me do the Hey, watch it! Shepard thinks he owns the street. Stop drinking and listen. Now, I think you can see the mine shaft from the surface. And if the mine shaft's visible, what do you plan next year? Yeah. I gotta get there. You're drunk. This is just what I'm talking about. Why do you think I came down here? Now sit. Just give me my jack. What's up? It's your boyfriend that hit me, not you. Well, listen, I'm sorry. 
He gets mad because of me. He gets mad because he's not a man. No, I, it's because I ruin things. Like if I say the wrong thing or if I don't understand what he's saying. You're not the one ruining things. It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't want a lot. Everything. Too much? More? What do you think about that? You know what I think about that? Mary. You know, people who act like you are shit. Dick. That's exactly what I think about that. Hey, save a few cases for the rest of the town, huh? <laughs> We went days, losing buddies, taking shrapnel up our asses. And this was a war to end all wars. We came upon a village, a neutral village. But by then, our men just weren't right. I noticed the radio man looking at me and said about our men, all hundred of them, just like you, me, or anyone else, said how we'd tear them apart. Our men won't know limits. They're people. When I got back to the States, I couldn't hold down a job. Never really saw the point. Yeah, but you got a good mind. <laughs> a mind like an iron prison. <laughs> right. There's a good one in there for you. man ready for surgery. What did this? I know this is gonna sound crazy, but, but, but a book was eating his hand. Man, have you been drinking? No! This was done by a piece of uh, machinery, a knife or a saw. Well, yeah, I had to cut off his arm to stop the book. Look, man, you're gonna pile on that crap that you had to cut off this man's arm because a book was eating it. I just wasn't gonna sit there and let it eat him. Oh! We all saw it, Doctor. Go and look for yourself. How is it? Let me make it. Let me, let me through. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Um, 
sure this works only once, right? Touch it with your face. Oh. Now, there might be something on this book. Now, I'm sure it's just a simple toxin. And a hot day and mass hysteria created the rest. And psychology proves that. some tests on this. I'll lead the prayer. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made the tree to lie down in green pastures. He made the tree beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Transfers. Let's build completely around this. or facilities needed for significant testing. What I do know is that contaminated objects consume specifically human or animal cell tissue. Now, if a person does touch a contaminated object, it will stick to him and will dissolve him in, I estimate, 10 minutes. If there is a good side, it's that the contamination cannot transfer from, from one inanimate object to another. The podium may have it everywhere, but the floor will not. This stops the spread of the disease. It also allows us to protect ourselves. Please, you must wrap yourself with any material to form a barrier against this syndrome. Just don't wrap yourself with anything infected. I uh, especially recommend these plastics. They're non-porous and are extremely beneficial. How do these things get infected in the first place? Good question. Based on the location of the contaminated objects, I don't think this disease was spread by random air currents. I believe the disease was spread by a uh, a carrier, like a dog or a squirrel. Or one of us. Listen, listen, listen. We all have to leave right now. And if it is one of us, we all have to cover ourselves anyway. And once we get to the facilities in the city, he can be isolated and helped. Now with all of us here, working, 
together. We can build platforms down the side of the gorge and be out tomorrow. And everyone will be kept safe who's alive today. Thank you. I was more tired last night than I ever was, and sleep came to me not once. For the life of me, I could not understand why after so many years of abundant prosperity, food and love, our Lord the Shepherd decides to inflict us with this disease, test if we're sinners, and indeed if we run or not. I'm not saying that the doctor is wrong at Great Lakes. But everyone here knows that this occurrence is beyond the everyday. How oh, can this not be God's hand? What? Does God not have any powers on the other side of the gorge? If we run, will we be safe? We're taught of people being tested. And here in our Garden of Eden, we're acting like Adam and Eve, trying to run from God all over no. the I say we have learned our lesson. Man cannot run from God. Amen. I say that a God who can put us in great danger can lead us to a greater salvation. Say it. Let us rejoice in the Lord for allowing us to witness his power and make us stronger people. Good speaker. You want to mass murder and I join in. doctor say? That's all he said. The doctor didn't say anything else? I'm telling you everything I know. He's in the infirmary and he'll be okay. Shit! You made it through the war without getting a scratch, but sleepy rock. He had these war stories when he'd come for books, even when I was a kid. At first he seemed a little nuts. And one day... After he left, I laughed and made fun of him to my dad. And my dad stopped. And he said, Jake, everybody's got a little piece of the truth. It just takes a little listening to find it. I never forgot when my dad said stuff like that. Stop thinking about it. I wish I could just live. Just 
smile. Sometimes I wish I didn't have to carry all this. Four months ago, I didn't even drink. So those guys found out and started shoving drinks down my throat. Who? Everyone, Tom, Josh. Those same nice guys that treat me like a monster now. They carried me home and set me inside the house. And in my hand was my ladder. All I remember are the hands sticking into my arms. And the screams making it through the alcohol. I was pulled out of the fire and lay in the grass. And then it hit me. I started the fire and killed my parents. I'm gonna get out of here. I can tell you right now. It's suicide and stay around here. It's doing you no good. Why don't you leave? see what's stopping us from going up there and getting into the mine. I mean, let's get it over with. Don't be stupid, man. It's too soon. No one's gonna know. It's just sitting up there waiting for us. Didn't know there was a party going on here tonight. Ain't no party. When the chips are down, the best talk I've had was with Jim Beam. Wrap us up like plastic people. I think that doctor ought to go back to the damn city where he belongs. I get sick of him saying how he could be making ten times more in the city than here. He's only been here five years, acts like he owns a place. He wants your money. He felt bad before he came oh, here. Oh, Christ, you never felt good. <laughs> Everybody wants money. She's worth it. <laughs> Mary, come here. Oh, no. Mary. <laughs> this here's B. You ain't deaf. In a minute. I want to talk now. You got your Go ahead, Dickie. Go ahead, Dickie. You ain't your What the hell you been lately? I couldn't find your name in the graveyard, so I figured you were still alive. Talk to me! What the hell are you looking at him for? I ain't looking at him. Oh, the hell you ain't. I make him smile. It's my job. Goddamned whore. It seems like if there's one thing someone can say to make me mad, that's what they'll say. I got to fight to keep it inside. It's stronger than me, and then I start getting scared, OK? I mean, when I met you, it changed. It's not so much I got stronger. It's just my bad side went away. It'd kill me if you make me go back. I don't know what I want. I only know 
but I don't want anyone. Not now. I gotta have something to be able to give anything. I feel like I got nothing. I knew it. Someone touched your heart and they killed you. They killed you! I'm going home! You're a slut! I never touched a man! I'll make you mine. You'll see. You'll change your mind. Stop it! No! Stupid kids. She didn't, know. she didn't know what's infected or where not to go. She's married! Yeah, it's different when it happens to you. Grab your shell! It's screwing the kills. Not the screwing. You just can't touch someone who's melting. I still ain't gonna put my cock where it don't belong. Just hang on. Just hang on. Why doesn't one of us go and get help? We can't build down the side of a gorge by ourselves. And do you know how many people would die in the meantime? You just think they'd be here by now. The storm probably knocked out a dozen cities. They'll start with the big ones, then the small ones. And finally work their way down to Sleepy Rock. They don't even know what's going on out here. You know those people in the church? If I had them, one at a time, and talk to them. This whole town would be packed to leave. But there was a crowd. There is something about a crowd that if someone says something and it's insane, you can't stop it.
Life isn't worth the paper it's printed on. All this is a great miracle. It is humbling how God directs us with his wisdom. Can't keep track of them. There'll always be a new disease just, just waiting for the right opportunity to infect the population. And God will help. I can help. No one can help. I'm a prisoner of my own skin. Ah! Listen, don't be scared. Look, I never wanted this, believe me. Some of the people that died were my best friends. He's not around here. Jesus! What is that? What? You're plastic. You've got to stay more protected. You never know where the disease is. Well, what's wrong with you? I'm fine. You're not fine. I said I'm fine! <laughs> 
town's dead. You shouldn't have stayed here one second, let alone days. Shiva, I know we really don't know each other or anything, but you gotta get out of here. I, I mean, I want you to get out of here with me. What happened to your face? It's okay, it's nothing. What happened to your face? I tripped and scraped it up. I didn't even know until I tasted it. Listen. We can go someplace. It doesn't matter where. Just someplace far away. What do you... What do you think? Well, it can't be too much worse out there with you than it is here with this shit. Yeah? Well, I'm just split with you. I don't mean to like you. I gotta do something first. Then I'll come and get you. Great. I've come to the conclusion that I know what type of animal the carrier is. I'm afraid, good people, that the carrier is one of us. The carrier is a man. For any reason, or you see anyone acting different, Let's or if you notice extra red objects around your area, for Christ's sake, tell me. But be careful, for any one of us might be the carrier. Look at you. This is sent here because of what we done. Why else did God send it? To get rid of people like you who leave the door open when we drink. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends for 30 years. We got ties. We've done some honest things, and as God pities both of us, we've done some things that weren't so honest. Get the hell out. He should just shut up. up. You were in church, weren't you? Yeah, Ma. Where else am I gonna be? Hey, Ma, what's the matter? Before, we had nothing. Now... Listen, Mom, I'm working on something. If things go we right, talk? we'll have a little money. Gotta get a gun. I bet Carrier's Matt Hoffman. The Reverend doesn't allow guns in town. And whoever it is, we must pray for him. No way! The Carrier must die! Get out your room! Oh. I was only joking. I know you were. Joking? Go to your room, Seth. That child has no love in him. They're difficult to understand. All I understand is... I thank the Lord someone in this house 
knows how to preach love to the boy. Yes, you are preaching love. But you're teaching hate! <laughs> I knew it. She's the carrier. Well, how can that be? And you're her husband. We get used to thinking people are a certain way. And this disease comes along and shows us as naked as a child. And we take care of the rest. That's the horror. See you tomorrow, Mom! You kids get to sleep. Right now. A new woman. We should just do nothing and pray. Let's go! Every wall, every door, every corner of our house tested. This tragedy will never happen here again. Something that'll test and keep testing. Yeah. Like cats. Every farm's got hundreds of them. We'll load this place. So go out there and get me cats. Grateful. And if any of you feel Satan's pain at this beautiful moment, God have pity on you. Amen. It just doesn't make any sense. He went the way he always went. He was protected. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Someone wanted him even more than you. Bless you. What was that all about? Any religion that says there's a good side to dying is no religion of mine. No, you were lying back there. To the parents? Yeah, talking to them like you believed. What was honest is they love their son more than anything in the world. There's only one best way to tell them that, and that's what I did. And if that makes me a liar, well, I never made any claims. The table's contaminated. Ha! 
you need it a bit unless you're like. Oh my god. What the? Come back here. Do it. Shepard Jake. What happened? I, I don't know what he's doing. I guess that's Jake. He's at the table and run down the street like a bat out of hell. about cats anyway. What? You gonna check under your bed with a cow? <laughs> <laughs> and they walk around like a constant warning bell. I still say there's better animals than cats. There's a lot more wild cats than wild dogs. I ain't sitting with no wild dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's the reverend. The doctor sure as hell ain't sticking to nothing. It's my wife. You know it. You seem to be acting strange. Take that back. Listen to that reaction. I bet maybe you're the carrier. Yeah. What? Yeah. We're yeah. not going at each other's yeah. throats. Crazy, man. man. Oh. Hey, cat! Ain't that the most beautiful herd you ever saw? Come on! Yeah. Get the black boy! He's getting away. Grab it! Come on. Come on. It, Peter. Hey. Don't touch those! Those are ours! We got them running! Hold it right there! What the hell are you talking about? Hold it! Josh, what is this? I said stop! But we can't find none! Show a little compassion! There's hundreds of cats! Watch this. And you're a God-fearing man. We got to face your knives in order to save our families. What about? Your families? Yeah. Lion drums? We can't give them cats. Show a little compassion. You can have two. What are you Take doing? Take them out. Take them out! Get going with the children. Park them outside. Watch it, man. Hey, the cat! Says you 
should have been. Send us some cats and take care of ourselves. Yeah. I'm tired of just sitting here. I'm gonna have to do something. That was stupid. Come here. I wouldn't hurt you. Somebody went through the trouble of getting us some cats. Those aren't your cats. Come on, just hand them over here. Oh. Grab the crate! Grab it! Let's go of him! Run, Clark! Warp. Just killed a kid. 
an accident. It could happen to anybody. Come here, little girl. been worrying about yourself. Why didn't you just give us the cats? We would have let you go. So why don't you let me go now? We'll call it even. I ain't gonna get strung up and skin for you getting your brother. Why, your head infected? Oh, sorry, there's nothing alive up there to infect. Listen, you punk. What the hell are you doing? Hands it's off a cat. Get away with this. What about her? You'll know we'll kill her if she talks. And I'll kill her myself anyway. They'll kill us. They'll get you. No killer lets a witness go. Hold him tight. Kiss this world goodbye. Nathan. Just trying to keep him healthy. Did you look upstairs? Who are you looking for? The children. They got us. We had cats. They killed Tommy. What are they doing? On the green path. Who? Who? Some guys from around the barn. Mike, go check it out. Be careful. What are you standing around for? Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Move it. Don't stand there. Move! <laughs> Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Use it if you must. There's no telling how much time we got. Board the windows first, then the wire! Where'd you get the ladder over here? Come on, let's go. Move it. In the shed with those. And be careful! We want to join you. Good Christians, there's always room. What the hell are you doing? The gorge is passable, I just checked. What? Careful now. Now where's the board? We can build a platform, we'll be out in a day. Why don't you just go and help the men? We gotta get out and be attacked with all the children? And how do you know the disease isn't 10 times worse on the other side? This house may not be much, but I'll be damned if it's all we've got. Please, help the other men.
Lied about the disease? Your life? What else have you lied about? You're such a pain, I figured you'd figure it out. You couldn't have told me? You wouldn't have gone. So, I go, you tell me, and where does that leave me? Look, if you don't want to talk to me, I'd understand. Lord knows if you pulled that shit on me, I wouldn't talk to you. But you lied to me. I like lying. I don't like you. Just go. Get out of here. Oh, he's done. You've got enough. You're done. Says who? But if you say that my catch you Just go. Get out of here. Whoa. You're not yelling at me because you're pissed at me. Get out of here. Something else is going on here. Like what? Don't touch me. I don't want to die. Well, put your gloves on first. <laughs> Stop laughing. Meet me in front of the church. Don't be late. Don't kiss anything red. is the future. The mine is on Jake's property. It was because of the mine that you got him drunk. But I didn't start no fire! Watch it! You're behind me 100%, just like everyone else. I didn't get him stone drunk. I didn't drag him up to his house. Tie up his parents. So what if I started the fire? Sure, we made some mistakes. The reason why everyone here tied up and killed Jake's parents was to get rid of those mistakes. <laughs> why don't we just kill Jake along with his stinking folks? That was the whole idea, stupid. He thinks he did it. Has anyone blamed us? Has anyone even looked at us? And now we can get what's in the mind, and no one's wiser. Jake might be acting different. But he's still convinced he started the fire. It sure does take the blame pretty good, doesn't it? Yep. He's a real responsible guy. <laughs> <laughs>
protect yourselves! The killers, it's the Joneses! What the hell are you talking about? I heard them planning. Do something before they kill the rest of you! The Joneses aren't gonna kill anybody. Half this area is contaminated! Then why are they building a fortress for an all-out war? What fortress? They're building fences and they're boarding their window. Why didn't you say something? I didn't know it was for a war. They got a barbed wire, too. That's right, I saw that. They're slaughtering you like sheep. Oh, God, those those sons down. of bitches. Why are they hoarding so many cats? That's right. If they weren't hoarding cats, your friends would be alive today. The sure as hell ain't offering any cats to us. Those goddamn liars. They got hundreds of red marked objects, too. If it wasn't for the Joneses, we'd have cats. So what if we don't have any cats? We can find other animals. But they're our cats! Then for the love of Sleepy Rock, your family and your friends' blood, let's get the Joneses! <laughs> guys at the bar, they're arming themselves to get you. What? I overheard them. They got axes, plastic, and red objects. I saw it! Oh, I knew it! How much time have we got? I don't know, a couple minutes. They're coming now! But you got a fence, I don't hold them long enough. What are you talking about? You don't even need extra weapons! How do you know we don't need extra weapons? For you, for them, I'm getting extra weapons, extra red objects. An extra fortification, let's go! Jake. Thanks, Jake. Hell. It's only for what you mean to me I'm doing this. Get ready to defend, sharpen your weapons. You and you get the red objects and distribute them. You, you, and you, guard the cats. Where's Bob? Right here. Get some men and grab the rear. Let's go! Y'all remember my wife, Jane? Little Tommy? Sandra? George? Rebecca? Mark? And all those wounded and dying fight. So you tell your lungs to breathe. And they breathe no more.
kids. Come on. Hit it. this from the start. Hold your position! Get the children and cats inside! I'm being right. Or what? Get inside. Bolt the door! I always knew you were a yellow liar. Attack so I can put an end to your pathetic life. Hoarding cats, stocking weapons, killing our men. You started that. They weren't spreading the disease. We let you have cats. As God is my witness, we're the ones who are trying to help. Then bring out the cats. Oh, I can see now cats aren't what you need. Only spiritless men slaughter animals in drunken rages and then beg for more. Please accept the Lord as your savior. Yes. Yes. Can I use the Lord to test objects? <laughs> Come on, Josh. How can you talk sense with them? They just don't listen. <laughs> if we fight, we'll use every red object we've got. We're dying. We got nothing to lose. Now give up the cats. Give up this madness! We have the Lord, weapons, and walls! You can't fight that! Is it cats or is it death? That's no choice! Cats or death! Cats or death! Cats are what you need! Then let it be death! death! Let's 
wine! You got them to kill each other? Jake, let's leave now. Jake, Trevor. We're split in town and... Well, a lot of those people that died... It was an accident. I wanted none of it. You! You're the carrier. Yeah, but I was... And you weren't trying to hurt anybody, were you? You weren't trying to hurt anybody. That's right. Oh, I well, knew it. You know. I knew it. The pattern was much too stupid to be intentional. Well, if you're going into the city, I'll be just a second. What are you talking about? You think the gorge is passable? What are you doing? Why didn't you tell somebody? Look, I don't want them to crucify me. That's the point. Look, the whole town looks to you. You split today, they'll know. Tomorrow they'll figure we went with you. You think a gorge will stop them? All Jake has to do is protect himself. We can go to the city and I'll find someone who can help. I mean, I want to help. I'm telling you, you can't help. I've been with this mess since the beginning. You need someone who's known you for years. Look, the only reason we came here was so you won't waste more time looking for the carrier. If you want to help, help them. You can't help me. Okay? Okay. What's that? I'm sorry to disturb you. I knew you'd understand. Shh. But you're exhausted. Once you're God damn you. idiots! Don't go on the way! Be careful! Don't understand! Help me! Gotta stop him!
Back way is clear. Come on, hurry up! Tell him it was me, are you? No. But I tell him a story. But you've got to show up at the church. Why? Because everyone will be there. And if you don't show up, you'll be suspect. The town is going to be evacuated, and they're so knife happy. 500 people with dead loved ones will be trailing you forever, as if you ever intended any of this to happen. If one person stands out, that'll be the person they'll get. And you're so much on everyone's list. Don't you think they'll notice if you're not there? A town meeting is the only way. You've got to be there. Then you'll be free. Well, what are you going to tell them? Don't worry. I I've got a plan. I can leave right after you're done. Yes. Tell me another way. Keep the front clear, because I'll be sitting by the door. Got it. Everywhere. Calm the craziness so fast. Didn't figure you'd show, Spear. I see it's Bob. What? It's Matt, I know it. Oh, Lord. Be careful. Some of you have stopped killing long enough to make it here. Now, you're aware that I know who the carrier is. He has no family, so we can only take position with him. He's an evil, young outcast. And once I name him, there'll be no doubt that he did it. 
So now, I reveal that the name of the carrier is Tim Doolittle. <laughs> But he told me of his fears beforehand. And later, by testing, I determined that he was indeed the carrier. So now, I am honored and happy to proclaim that the Sleepy Rock Syndrome is over. the whole town. Make sure that everything contaminated is marked. Go. The carrier's dead. It was Doolittle. Do oh, shit, I wanted to cut him myself. Where is Nathan? I don't want anyone else infected. <laughs> Don't cry for me. Get away with me! What the hell's going on? Get away here! Classic that was infected. Give it to me. We can cut him out. We can save him. Keep it up, doctor. Murderer. Innocent. <laughs> then touch the wall, Jake. I'm not gonna take some stupid test. If someone else has the disease, we'll isolate him. Isolate the carrier. Touch the wall, Jake. <laughs> Crazy. You're all crazy. Touch the wall, Jake! Listen to reason. <laughs> oh, God! Damn, Mary, it's all crazy. Your coffin. Strike me. You might kill me. If you have a chance, I'll touch you once. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dissolve him. Sleepy Rock was soon evacuated by the government. The authorities never learned anything new about the disease. Nothing that wasn't already known. And it all wore off in time. Just like so much else. The doctor and his wife have a small practice in the city. And couldn't talk much about it. And then there was Jake. Jake didn't believe in simple good or bad. Jake was simply honest. Jesus, try to forget. You try to forget. But it just doesn't go away. Thank you.